Hi, welcome to JK Hunting Adventures. We have a great show in store for you. First, we're going to take an inside look on the menacing Morningside cat. We have live interviews and never before seen footage. Hope you enjoy. Tasha, what are your thoughts on the Morningside cat? I hunted it in the stairwell once. I used my cat calling to get it. All I got was its tail and a scar. Now let's take a look at Kyle's dangerous encounter. Man, that was a close encounter. Thank goodness you're all right, Kyle. We have another personal interview with Morningside's own Kane Feldrick. Let's take a look and see what he has to say. This is Brian Fantano with Kane Feldick on the Morningside Cat. Mr. Feldick, do you think this cat poses as a threat to society? I indeed do. I have seen that cat chase many people around this campus. And it seems to jump out of bushes every single time someone walks right by it. Mr. Feldick, what do you think the health threats this pose, this cat poses? I think it might spread some zombie viruses among the people. Uh, Mr. Feldick, what do you think the best way to um, perhaps contain this cat is? We need to lock it up. Throw away the key. Never speak of it again. Um... Are you for euthanizing this cat? I can't do that. Just want to lock it up, man. All right, well, thank you very much for your time, Kane Feldick, on the Morningside Cat. Thanks, Kane. Now let's take a look at our very own Jacob McLaughlin and his exclusive interaction with the Morningside Beast. Here in front of me is the famous Morningside Cat. He just sits there and grooms himself like a danger. Hey. That was some great footage, Jacob. But I have to say, the footage we have coming up next is jaw-dropping. Jacob was attacked by the cat, and he still survived this encounter. Let's take a look. He's so cuddly. Wow, Jacob. I'm so glad you're here today. Well, we have our very own Jacob McLaughlin in studios today, surviving the attack. Jacob, what was your thoughts going through your mind? Well, first thing I knew, I had to stay calm, because that thing could smell fear a mile away. And when it came at me, I was like, it's going to happen. I can't, I can't do anything about it. After he left, all I knew is I had to get out of there, because that kind of animal will come back for second blood. Well, with a close call like that, we are lucky that Jacob was able to join us in studios today. Once again, we're going to show you a picture of this cat. If you see it, make sure to report it to authorities as soon as possible. You can call 712-22-3333. Alright folks, well thanks for joining us again on JK Hunting Adventures. Hope you really enjoyed the show this week, and wait till next week. Yes, tune in next week as we take a look at the Briarcliff Dog. Been haunting students there for the past 20 years. Once again, this was JK Hunting Adventures. 
We aren't just kidding. 